And welcome back to the Daily Wrap. It's time for yay or nay, or since we have Jessica Tarloff here, who is Russian, I believe. Yay or nyet. <laughs> House of Cards is back. Yoo-hoo! Season 3 of Netflix's first original series became available last night at midnight for binge watchers around the world. We have B-roll of it, it's called. It's where we show you little clips of the movie but don't actually give anything away. It is estimated that 2 to 3 million people watched House of Cards in its opening weekend last season. And this year, likely many more, as it's already acquired double the number of social media followers since season 2 and its debut. Not to mention Kevin Spacey taking home a Golden Globe for Best Actor in a Drama not too long ago. So in the spirit of season pack going on in Maryland right now, I ask this question to our panel. Would Kevin Spacey's Frank Underwood be a frontrunner if he announced his candidacy for the presidency? You could only answer this question if you watched the show. I have watched the show. I yes. say no because the way that he turns to the camera and speaks to it is mm-hmm. annoying and the public would not put up with it. Annoying? <laughs> so you don't like the show? I, he annoys me when sick? he does that. Really? I know. I know. I am in the minority. I think it's unique. Cinema. No, it's. <laughs> I know you do. Right? I know it was your birthday. It was coming. I know. I know you love it, but I don't think that the public would like him or vote for him. Okay, very good, Jonathan. I disagree. I would say yes because he has a way of making the people that need to like him like him, and it gets things done. And he, he well, he, he well, kills he people to do it. This but is he the gets thing. Done. This is what's interesting about that show in real life is that he gets things done, but none of the things that he does do anything to better the American uh, people. No, it just, really. it, it's all it's all power. is the word I was looking for. It's but most argue that President Obama doesn't do anything to better yeah, the situation really for the American people. Maybe he should it's trade places on TV. Yeah. Or no. day. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. totally, yeah. Okay. Yeah, and I'd be, well, I don't know his immigration policy, but yeah, I'm pretty firmly behind Frank okay. Underwood. I, I, I disagree here because I do watch the show, and if you do, you'll see that Frank Underwood, Kevin Spacey, doesn't do anything in terms of campaigning or shaking hands. He just acquires power through other means, and I'll just leave it at that. Did you see all the crazy dress? Uh, I'm sorry, we'll start that again. Did you see this crazy dress? Lupita Nyong'o, hope I pronounced that right, wore la- last week's Oscars. It's a pretty dress, right? Probably dropped, I don't know, a couple hundred dollars on it. No, seriously though, have you seen it? Like anywhere? Because someone stole the dress from her hotel room on Wednesday. The custom Calvin Klein gown is estimated to be worth $150,000 and is covered in 6,000 pearls and must have weighed a ton. I don't care how many pearls are on a dress. Let me ask you, Jessica, would you pay 150000 which I don't know what that works out in rubles, but probably a couple billion, <laughs> for a dress like that? Yeah, you're right. Nay. Yet. Yet. Okay. At this, at my current salary, I think that wouldn't be smart. Very good, Jonathan. I would say no, but they need to start spending that kind of money on security if you're going to have something like that. That's a very good point. Hire that. I man. don't think she probably paid for it. I think she probably borrowed it, and I would gladly borrow it if anyone wants to lend me a similar dress. I think it's gorgeous. Mm, I say yay. Of course, honey, I'll get that dress for you for your birthday. <laughs> <laughs> Fifteen hundred, maybe. Anyway, uh, I'd hate to end the show uh, on such a sad note, uh, but. As we heard today, unfortunately, Leonard uh, Nimoy has passed away. uh, uh, He's 83 years old and uh, certainly uh, made quite an impact. There you see him uh, in his uh, later years. But uh, anybody who's a Trekkie, I'm not. But and he can do that thing with his hands, which I can. None of us can do. Well, Jonathan can do it actually. Look at that. That's that's actually very impressive. Uh, So let's take a look back now on the man we knew as Spock. Space, a final frontier. Mr. Spock, are you all right? Yes, I believe no permanent damage was done. What happened? The occipital area of my head seems to have impacted with the arm of the chair. No, Mr. Spock, I meant what happened to us. How close will we come to the nearest Klingon outpost if we continue on our present course? Uh, One parsec, sir. Close enough to smell them. That is illogical, Ensign. Odors cannot travel through the vacuum of space. Opportunity? Now listen, Spock, you may be a wonderful science officer, but believe me, you couldn't sell fake patents to your mother. I fail to understand why I should care to induce my mother to purchase falsified patents. Live long and prosper. Mm. 
Leonard Nimoy passing away at age 83. And if you don't think this had a lot of impact on people, even the President of the United States did tweet out about it, and Heather Hansen has that in front of her. He put out a statement, said, Long before being nerdy was cool, there was Leonard Nimoy. Leonard was a lifelong lover of the arts and humanities, a supporter of the sciences, generous with his talent and his time. And of course, Leonard was Spock. Cool, logical, big-eared, and level-headed, our president. The center of Star Trek's <laughs> optimistic, inclusive vision of humanity's future. I loved Spock. He goes on a little bit about how he got to meet Leonard in person, and um, he was going to miss him dearly. Very good. Jonathan, I, I know you didn't watch Star Trek very much, but can you show the audience what you could do? Because I can't. Can we, can we get Jonathan up can on I screen? Just, there, there's Leonard. I and just want to say this one thing. Mr. President, I've met Spock. You're no Spock. Wow. Oh, boy. Right. And on that <laughs> note... <laughs> We have to leave it here. Time to go to happy hour and discuss that one a little bit more. Thank you for watching Daily Wrap. Thank you, panel. Have a good weekend, everyone. Joe Concha saying bye-bye. <laughs>